This episode of Connected with Kelly is sponsored by Pickers Vodka, proudly made in Nashville, Tennessee. So Pickers is a tribute to the musicians whose sounds fill the air in Music City. Pickers Vodka is distilled 11 times from non-GMO corn and it's gluten-free. My new favorite is the Pickers Unplugged Vodka Soda. They're in cans. They are only 96 calories, zero carbs, great flavors. You need to give them a try. Visit PickersVodka.com to find out more or to order online. Okay, I love that I just wander into a jewelry store and look who I found. It's Ray Lynn. Me! <laughs> at Kendra Scott. I love the fact that you're a part of this. So we are at the Kendra Scott store yes. in the middle of Green Hills, and this is part of Folds of Honor. They've partnered with Folds of Honor, yes. and 20% of everything that's happening today is going to that charity. That's incredible. I have known about Folds of Honor for a while. I know this has to be something yes. that really hits you in a soft spot. I love, like... Any part of giving back to the military or our military families and communities, I think, is so important. And I think what makes Folds of Honor so special is that they focus on education for kids and spouses that have had, you know, come from fallen, who have lost their dad or lost yeah. their mom or, you know, has had to deal with that or maybe they've gotten hurt. And I just yeah. think that that's so incredible to have an organization that just focuses on that. And, um, and there's so much to highlight there. And Folds of Honor is just an amazing organization and I think that they should be highlighted in so many ways and so for them to partner with Kendra Scott and get to get some cool jewelry but also give back is uh, is pretty amazing. I like jewelry and giving back is a total win-win. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. It's speaking to our hearts. It is. How are you feeling? I mean that's I'm the question. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. I'm eight months pregnant. Yes. I have seven weeks left so I'm super pumped and I'm excited to be a mom and I'm just I'm excited for all the opportunities that have, I feel like there's like, there's something about being pregnant and just opportunities just open for you in such a beautiful way. I don't know if that happened with you, but it was just like, it's been like a really cool, like, I just like blessing just kind of yeah. comes with babies. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, it's been a really cool thing to, to see and I'm, I'm excited to be a mom. I am. When you are home, are you in that nesting period now? Oh yes. Okay. For sure. I've like started organizing onesies. I'm about to start washing them, organizing drawers. Yeah, it's getting kind of crazy. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm just going to throw this piece of mom advice yes, to I you. Yes, the mom advice. When you get new things, just wait before you cut the tags off. Yes. That's never. I had a big girl. She was like eight pounds plus. Yeah. And all the little kids, like didn't little fit. baby stuff didn't fit her because she was already too and big for it. take it back? No, because I already cut the tags off of it. Oh, I ain't taking it. That's what everybody told me not to do, so I haven't done that. That's what I'm but saying. But I'm like, but how do you wash and prepare? Like, so. I know. It's it's a tricky situation. so many things. We'll figure it out. It is a tricky but situation. Thank you. I will not. I yeah. Yeah, just, just be aware of okay. all of those things. Okay. When you're looking forward to being home with baby girl, like what are some of the things that you've already put into place? Obviously, nursery's done, yes. right? Okay. We're almost done with it. I just need like a rug and a mattress, like the like the basic, final like things. the final things. Um, for me, like, I mean, it's just this whole process is just wanting to just spend the most time with her, yeah. you know. And I'm, I'm excited to be able to have that time this fall. Um, I've gotten to do incredible things, like I said, this the beginning of this year, but to be able to just focus on her in September and October and through the holidays give me so much fun. I just, I'm so excited. Like I told my husband, I was like, she's coming before Halloween, um, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, like before all the fun holidays. And he was like, that's perfect. <laughs> I know she won't remember any of them, but it's, it's okay. Fun. You get to dress her up I know. in anything that you want to put I her know. in. I know. And do that for as long as you can, because when they get older, they won't let you. No, I know. So, so I heard. take advantage of that. I am. Have you been songwriting in the middle of all of this? Do you feel super creative? You said that blessings are coming from babies. So. Yes. Oh, for sure. I feel like songs are a part of those blessings. I've been able to write some really cool music just from, I don't know, I think when you be, right when you see that you're pregnant, you become a mom right then. Like you have like this sense of like, oh my gosh, this is a big change in me. And so that definitely has affected my music in a beautiful way. Tell me about Small Town Prayer. Small Town Prayer is one that I just am so excited about because I feel like it's the heart of every small town. Like every, I was, so I was went to go visit my hometown and during the pandemic and I was driving around and I saw this old woman on her porch I don't know if she was reading her Bible. Well, she probably wasn't, but <laughs> she was reading something. Right. And I just got to thinking about all the little prayers that 
every one of these, you know, little small towns have and just how I just feel like they hit God's ears a little sweeter and it's like, and I don't, I'm not saying that our prayers don't matter, but there's just something about a small town prayer that's just so, yes. you know, praying for their, for rain for their crops or praying for a new set of tires or praying for their son to make it home because he's been out too late. It's just all those little things and, um, and it's just, this, and it, it just is such a perfect representation, I feel like, of a small town and, um. And when you hear it, it's just, it just excuse me, all the nostalgic vibes. See? Yeah, I think it's very mm -hmm. special. We are standing here amongst this beautiful jewelry at Kendra Scott, and I'm looking. I'm like, what is September? Okay, so she's going to have cobalt yes. as her birthstone. Cobalt. Did you know that going in? I didn't know that until now. I know. That's a beautiful color. Mine's emerald. Okay. Yes. Emerald. Mine is yeah. topaz, and I don't love it, but I'll take it. Which it's one's fine. Topaz? It's like the Christine, the yellow color. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Why can't it be diamonds? I love a diamond, I love girl. I love a diamond. <laughs> Me too. I'm never going to turn down a diamond. That's Me for sure. Okay. In the middle of like planning, I know it is kind of intimidating to look further out. But do you already have that tour planned for next year? And we are, wh what's the plan with Baby? Is Daisy coming she's with you? She's coming along, man. Okay. We're, we're gearing back up in January, and she's coming along for the ride. So It's happening. Miss Daisy Ray will be on the road. You got to make it happen. Right. That's what you got to do when you're a working mama. <laughs> so good. It's so yes. good. It'll Listen. be so sweet. I am so happy for you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You look fantastic. I oh, know you're feeling you. good. Thank you. I feel really good. Okay. It's so good. I love this. Right, Lynn, everybody. Thank you, guys. Check out Folds of Honor. You can get in on all the things that they're doing with Kendra Scott. It's an amazing organization. And we just love the fact that they're partnering with somebody that we love. That's so good. Thank good you, guys. You.